Sure, it's easy to be green on the ground, but what about two, three, or even ten stories up in the air? It's a piece of nature in the middle of K Street in the district. So when you hear the ambulances go by and everything, people come up here and they look at the green roof and have lunch or maybe have a private conversation on the cell phone. It's a very peaceful, um, you know, environment. Kellyanne Whitley is with Blake Real Estate, the owner of this 10-story building that features the first high-elevation green roof in Washington. Building a green roof is no easy task, though, especially if it's being retrofitted. Patrick Bollinger is a project manager for Tech America. Green roofs are not a, a, a great fit for every roof. A shingle roofs, not real good bedfellows. Um, when you get into an asphalt roof, there are additional layers that you need to put down. A root barrier um, is put down, it's, it's rolled out. This roof is actually a single ply roof. Um, it's a sarnophil roof, it's a white membrane, it's inorganic, it's a PVC membrane. The roots can't grow in it. A green roof is essentially that, green, thanks to the hardy drought resistant vegetation that takes root on the roof with a little help from companies like Tech America. What you're looking at here is an extensive green roof. This would be the roof composition itself, even though we've wrapped it with a filter cloth around the side. Picture this is the roof insulation, and the roof membrane would be sitting directly on top of this. This aluminum landscape edging is just to keep everything held together. But if we pulled that away, what you would see is another layer directly on top that is the drainage board. Directly on top of that, is where you would see three to four inches of the engineered soil media and then the plants. The main advantage of a green roof is to prevent stormwater runoff. When it rains, the plants use some of the water, but the rest is captured in drainage ports below the plants, taking the place of a stormwater basin and putting less of a burden on a city's stormwater system. There's also energy savings when it comes to cooling. This roof without green on a beautiful 90 degree day could be anywhere from 140 to 180 degrees. Right now, it's going to be right around ambient temperature. So with this breeze, the roof underneath the green is about 80 degrees. And it looks good too. So appealing, in fact, the roof attracts some local wildlife. We get bumblebees, we get birds, we have um, morning doves that come because the succulent sedum um, during the drought, the, the doves um, obviously feed off the sedum. We've had Canadian geese land up here. Um, we also get dragonflies here in the middle of K Street. A green roof in an urban jungle makes perfect sense. I'm VOA's Rebecca Ward for Going Green.